Alright guys, today we have a chest and back workout video. So, today's chest and back is going to be higher volume um, with not as much weight, really focusing on squeezing and tensing. And this is the workout that I attribute um, to growth in my chest and back over the past few months. So, if you guys are really looking to develop your chest and back, I'd say this is a great one to work on. Um, so as always, I'm starting out with a lot of warming up for my shoulders just because it's so easy to injure that joint. So if you're not warming up properly, you're, you're going to hit it. You're going to bleh. You're going to hurt it. Um, and then also doing a lot of warm-up sets. I started with flat dumbbell bench. So as you can see here, I did 35s, 50s. I even did a set with 65s before starting with the 80-pound dumbbells for my working sets. Um, here again, we're doing sets of around 12. The idea here is... You want to keep constant tension on the chest the entire time. You'll notice I don't go down too, too far. I feel that as long as my arms get to parallel, I get a good stretch in my chest. Any further than that, and I start to run into problems with shoulder impingement. So I try to keep it in the range of motion that I can handle, which is what you're seeing right here. Um, but that being said, I did feel that the 80s were a little heavier. So after this set, I did lower it to the 75s, which I used for the rest of the following sets. Um, big thing with these, constant tension on the pecs. So even at the top, you want to be squeezing them together and then focus on coming down slowly, feeling your um, your chest expand while under tension. Don't just, you know, bang them up and down. Now, on this next set, as you can see here, finishing up with the 75s, couldn't quite get that last rep. We're doing a drop set. I take about half that weight, so I have 40 pound dumbbells here, and you're going to do seven additional reps. Now these ones can be a little bit more pumped out, as you can see. I'm still trying to control it, but I am pumping them. And uh, this is just to you know, really exhaust the pecs. And then to further take them to exhaustion on this first exercise, we do a seven second pause at the bottom, as you're gonna see here, holding it for seven seconds. And you'll see I keep adjusting to keep pushing my elbows up. I'm not just letting it sit at the bottom. Then you take it to the top, squeeze it again for seven seconds, just completely exhausting the muscles. So don't rest at the top, squeeze your pecs together, holding it one last time for seven seconds at the bottom. This is gonna burn like nothing you've ever felt before. And then finish it off with one last good rep. And that's it for flat dumbbell bench press. Moved on to incline dumbbell bench press. I like keeping the bench at around a 45 degree angle. If I go too flat, I find that my lower and mid pec take over, whereas I don't get a lot of activation out of my upper pec. So going at a uh, more upright angle helps me accentuate that upper chest. Again, here you've got to be very careful. It's very easy to go and uh, get your shoulders involved with this. So take it very slow and really focus on pulling with uh, your clavicle almost. You want to feel your clavicle like it's on fire because that's where that, that's where it inserts your, um, <laughs> your upper pec. So you want to feel the tension there, controlling it. As you can see, I'm not using a very heavy weight on those. That one is definitely more of a squeezing, tensing exercise. Staying in the realm of squeezing and tensing, I moved on to a pec deck. I personally don't like our pec deck here. I much rather prefer cable flies. I feel like you can do a lot more with them and I get a better squeeze. However, our machine's broken, so I'm working with what I have. Anyway, you wanna focus on keeping your chest up and in front of you and then not bringing your arms back past parallel with the elbows, as again, that's gonna cause impingement in the shoulders and any stretch and further range of motion, um, the gains you're gonna get from that are definitely outweighed by the possibility of tearing a shoulder um, or tearing a rotator cuff or injuring your shoulder through impingement. So I would just recommend that you go back to a comfortable 90 degrees at the elbow. Then supersetting this here with very eccentric um, concentrated push-ups. So really focusing on keeping my chest tight on the way down, exploding back up, usually getting about five to six after each rep, or sorry, after each set of chest flies. Um, and this is just to further um, develop the, the chest, further burn it out. And you can tweak how you want to work it. You can do a close grip, wide grip, or neutral like I was going. Then the last exercise we have for the pecs is another superset. This is a standing Sven press. So what I do is I take five pound plates and put them in between my hands. And I try to press my palms together the entire time while moving forward and backwards. As you can see, it keeps your chest activated the entire time and it hurts like crazy. It'll get you an insane pump and it's a great way to finish off your chest. Um, and then immediately supersetting that with dumbbell pullovers. Again, I don't go super deep on my dumbbell pullovers. I like to sink my hips and let the dumbbell go just out of where I can't, you know, out of reach where I can't see it. 
and then pulling it back over, really just stretching the rib cage and keeping the chest tightened the whole time. You can go lighter and do a fuller range of motion, um, but for me personally, I don't feel like that's very healthy for my shoulders, so I prefer to do them like this, using a bit of a heavier weight to get more activation out of the chest since I'm not going as full a range of motion, um, and concentrating on trying to drive my hands through the dumbbell, keeping the tension in the chest. Then we moved on to the back portion of the exercise. I like to start my hypertrophy days with back, for back with um, wide grip uh, overhand pull-ups, focusing on trying to get four sets of 12 to start off with a good squeeze at the top. Um, for the first couple of, you know, first you know, eight, seven or eight reps, I don't go all the way down. I focus on kind of keeping very constant tension. As I get tired, I'll go down, relax at the bottom, get a full stretch and try to squeeze back up to the top. Um, after those, I move into a neutral grip lat pull down. Here's going to focus more on the um, the width of the back, focusing on the lats. Um, then, as like a, like a normal close grip would focus more on the thickness, the middle back. So, with these again, slow on the eccentric, stretching forward now, bringing it down and squeezing and stretching back up once again. Uh, back's a harder muscle to form that mind muscle connection with. So, going slow and really focusing on feeling the muscle tense and contract is the best way to get quick results for your back. Um, so with that being said, the next clip you're going to see is not a great example of that. I was pretty tired after this and I was supersetting that with this underhanded row. And as you can see here, uh, my form's a little bit quick, a little bit sloppy as I got tired. Um, so I was using 115 here. I should definitely, and I did, lighten up the weight as I went on. Um, just because going this fast is not going to get you the same results as squeezing and tensing it. Um, anyway, after that, moved on to our last back exercise. Um, both of my back exercises were supersetted. This is a wide grip seated row. Um, and this serves to, again, work on the lats as well with a little bit of work on the width of the back. Um, very slow and controlled here. As you can see, I'm not using a ton of weight at all. And the rest intervals are going to help with that. If you're only resting 30 to 45 seconds, it's very easy to burn out your back a lot faster. And that was supersetted once more with a dumbbell bent over row variation where I sink my hips back very, very far, allowing me to round my back a little bit and get more of a stretch to the lat, pulling up and squeezing. And again here, probably using a little bit too much weight as my reps got a little choppy and short at the end. But however, that was the end of the workout, powered through it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, try this one out for yourselves and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, the workout will be linked in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be sure to see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out. Outcome we do this for you. Give me your hand and we'll make it there soon. Life is just one beautiful view. We'll eventually get there. This is the pursuit. This is the pursuit. This is the pursuit.